The wrestling team was in Cedar Rapids over the weekend for Nationals. It was the last meet with Jim Miller as a coach. My co-host Shelby Gernath was there to catch all the action. Shelby? Thanks, Ryan. It was a very exciting weekend for Coach Miller and the Knights, so let's see how they were able to bring home some new hardware. Warburg was heavily favored to win their third straight national championship, and in the first round of competition, they would not disappoint. All ten Knights won their opening round matches, advancing them to the quarterfinals. Kenny Anderson, Cody Silvestri, and Sam Yupa all won by major decision, and Puna Soriano and Ryan Fink added pins. At the end of round one, Warburg sat on top of the leaderboard with 12 team points. The second session on Friday night was not as successful for the Knights as it could have been. Gilberto Camacho, Anderson, and Silvestri all came up with decision wins for the Orange and Black. Tommy Maroka had a very exciting match against the number two seed from Elmhurst, Ryan Early. After a hard-fought match, Maroka came out on top, 9-8. The first loss for the Knights came from Cole Welter, as he lost 6-1. However, he won his wrestleback match to keep him alive. Landon Williams sent his match into overtime for the second time of the day. Like the earlier session, he was able to come out with a 5-3 decision win. Next up was Dylan Azinger. Although he was ahead for most of the match, Azinger ended up getting pinned in the third period. In his wrestleback match, Azinger almost had it won, but a last second takedown ended the tournament for Dylan as he lost 10 to nine. Yupa and Soriano also struggled in the quarterfinals as they both lost five to two and 4-0 respectively. Yupa couldn't get much momentum going in his wrestleback match and lost by a final of 5-3. Soriano narrowly fell 6-5 in his match as both him and Yupa were eliminated. And at heavyweight, Fink lost in the quarterfinals 2-1, but he came back to win by injury default in his wrestleback match, sending him on to Saturday. We lost some we shouldn't have, but you know, we won some close ones too, so. It's a battle, man, and that's you know that's what, that's what the tournament's going to be. The national tournament always going to be a battle. Uh, we got work to do, man. I'm worried about it. I'm nervous about it. Worried about it. Always in. So it's going to be a grind tomorrow, man. We got to be ready. We got to be ready to go. Coming into Saturday's sessions, the Knights were still on top with 66 team points. Camacho would fight hard to move on to the finals match. However, it was not meant to be as he fell two to one. He was able to win his wrestleback match, and at the end of the day, he placed third and received All-American honors for the first time. Anderson was able to advance to the finals with his 5-1 semifinals victory. Maroka hoped to do the same, but he would end up losing 6-3. He won his wrestleback match 6-1, and he never gave up, and the 6-2 decision win gave him third place in All-American honors for the second time. At 149 pounds, Silvestri had a tough semifinals match, but he fought hard and came out on top by a final of 5-3, sending him on to the finals Saturday night. Welter won his first match on Saturday 5-0, but he lost the next one 6-4. Welter fought and fought and fought, and finally, after six overtime periods, he got the 5-3 victory and fifth place. He also earned All-American honors for the first time. Williams lost his chance to defend his national title at 165 pounds in the semis with an 8-6 loss. He was able to win his wrestleback match, but he couldn't keep it going in the finals match as he lost 8-3, giving him fourth place and All-American honors for the second time. Fink lost his first match on Saturday by a final of 5-0 sending him to a 7th, 8th place match. In that match, he would get the close 1-0 win as he finished in 7th place and earned All-American honors for the second year. It's a national tournament, it's a dogfight, you know, and that's, that's what we come in expecting and that's what you saw, you know, every single match. And um, I think a lot of guys, whether they were expected to win or not expected to win, went out and battled and, and fought. And, uh, you know, I mean, that, that's what I'm proud of is the effort with, with every guy. I mean, that, that part I'm proud of, the effort. And finally, it was time for the matches everyone was waiting for, the championships. First up was Anderson against Grant Sutter from UW-Whitewater. After his first takedown, it was all Anderson for the rest of the match. Anderson dominated and never let up, 
winning by a final of 9-1. to one. I wanted to prove that he shouldn't be on the same stage as me, and that's what they were telling me. So from the start, they were like, get that first takedown, and he'll start to break. So that was the game plan. Anderson is now a two-time national champion, and he ends the season undefeated, and he has an overall winning streak of 46. I, w I was hungrier this year, honestly, because I had one loss on my record last year, so I wanted to be undefeated the whole season. And I went up a weight, so I just wanted to adjust well to that. And by the end of the year, everything, everything was just rolling. So and I, I felt like I picked up my work pace this year, too. And the last competitor of the evening for the Orange and Black was Silvestri. He faced Greg Sanders from Concordia, Wisconsin. Silvestri struck first, but Sanders tied it right back up. With Silvestri back in the lead, time was winding down. With only seven seconds remaining, Sanders got the reversal, putting him ahead for good, six to five. Silvestri finished in second place, and he received All-American honors for the second time. In the end, it was the top-ranked Warburg team with the most team points. Warburg won its third straight NCAA National Championship for the first time in program history and 10th overall title. The Knights ended with 103 points and Elmhurst finished in second with 82. The Warburg Grapplers gave legendary Coach Miller one last ride to receive his final National Championship trophy. It was a lot of pressure. It was. I mean, we wanted to make sure he went out the right way. Anything other than that would have been a disappointment. And uh, you know, extremely happy that it ended that way because uh, that's, that's how it needed. Him. It's been a blessing to be at Warburg. It's been a blessing my whole career, actually. But uh, this has topped it off. And uh, just you know, I know God put me at Warburg for a reason, and I'm, I'm just really fortunate to be there. And the ride has been just unbelievable. Even though individually everyone didn't get what they wanted. The orange and black team still walked away defending their title with their heads and coach held high. Reporting for Sports Night, I'm Shelby Grenell.